Hello everybody and welcome to episode 25 of the Little Black Cat Knits podcast. A podcast all about knitting and crochet and other crafty things I get into. I am your host Ashley coming at you from New Jersey. Air. Ooh. I live with my husband, my two sons, and my little black cat. Want to say hi? No? Okay. Um, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are a new viewer, welcome. Um, I don't really have any finished objects this week. We're just going to jump right in. Um, I do have a couple whips, um, and I have some cross stitch to talk about this week. Um, so actually there is an FO, but it's in cross stitch, but we will get to that at the end. Little squeaker. Can you say hi? And then we'll pick a spot to put you because you're in my way. All right. Um, he's knocking stuff over already. I guess we'll just start with this whip because he knocked it over. Um, these are, living in a bag I made myself, these are some vanilla socks that I am knitting as a shop sample. Um, I am on the second sock and I have finished the heel flap. I just, I'm about to start the heel turn. These are in my hand dyed yarn in the colorway Pumpkin Pasties, which actually reminds me, <laughs> you can find me, you guys my brain today. My allergies are so bad. I'm like all over the place. Anyway, you can find me on Instagram and Etsy as Gaddy Yarn Co. I am the owner and dyer of Gaddy Yarn Co. Um, you can find me on Ravelry as AM Gaddy. There is also a, pod, a podcast, a group for this podcast on Ravelry. All you have to do is search for the Little Black Cat Knits podcast. And if you are not a Ravelry user, all of my podcast show notes are also on my blog, which you can find by going to gaddyyarn.com. Um, I try to find links to the patterns I talk about that are not on Ravelry. Um, if you're not a Ravelry user, um, those links will be on the blog. So, back to what I was talking about. Um, these are, in my colorway, pumpkin pasties. Um, I am knitting these on Chiaogu 32 inch fixed circulars, US size 1, 2.25 millimeter needles. And I am in the magic loop. And once I get past the heel turn and gusset, these things are going to fly off the needle. So hopefully they will be done by next podcast. Hopefully. Um, so yeah, that is one of my whips. I guess we'll move into the second one. This one is living in this beautiful bag from the Shil Silver Shed USA. Guys, I can't talk today. Um, and these are my Iron Man socks. I, I finished the leg. I have a magnet in here for some reason and all of my stitch markers are sticking to it. Um, I finished the leg, so I am ready for the heel. And this is the second sock on these also. I am knitting these out of Lady Pearl Designs in the, it was a sock set. This is the I Love You 3000 colorway. And then the heels and toes will be out of this mini, which is called Arc Reactor. Um, I'm knitting these on Chiaogu 9 inch circulars, US size 1, 2.25 millimeter needle. Needles? Guys, today, what is, what is going on with me? But yeah. Um, did I say what day it is? I'm all over the place. It's Monday, May 31st, so happy Memorial Day. Um, yeah. This, this episode's gonna be a little all over the place. I, my, like I said, my allergies are killing me. Um, so I'm a little like brain fog. Um, my last whip, knitting whip, that I have to talk about is living in this awesome Horror Villains bag by Lila Styles, And this is another shop sample. This is the Spindrift shawl by Helen Stewart, or Curious Handmade. And I am knitting this out of my hand dyed yarn in the Daughter of Athena colorway. Let's see, I'm all tangled. Um, yeah. So last week we were here. And I think I have like four rows and the bind off left. So this will definitely be finished by the next podcast. But I am going to toot my own horn, guys. This colorway knits up beautifully. Did quite a lot of knitting since last week. Look at that, guys. Proud of myself. Um, but yeah, I'm almost done with the cake, actually. Ooh, I hope I have enough. Um, anywho, I should. It should be fine. Um, oh, no. Um, so yeah, that is all of my knitting 
whips. So I guess we're moving to cross stitch. Um, actually, we can get one. Okay. I have so many. No! It's all right. Now you can see how messy that is back there. Um, I have so many cross stitches that I have finished that need to be fully finished, but it's okay. So um, I finally, if you've been watching the podcast for a while, you know I've been working on this for a very long time. It is finally done. This is Captain America Silhouette from Oh My Stitches Shop on Etsy. Um... I stitched this on 14 count Ada with all of the called for colors and they're all DMC but guys it's finally done uh, it's it took me forever um it's not like it's a hard stitch I think it's just that because it's such big blocks of color I was getting really bored really quickly um, so yeah that is done and I cannot wait to like iron that and get it all you know fixed up. I don't even know where the thing went that was there. Oh well, okay. So, moving right along. The other, I worked on two more cross stitches this week. I don't know, I was just really feeling like stitchy. So, living in this bag from Sars Hollow Stitchery. Look how cute this is. I love this. I actually have two more cross stitch progress, pro, project bags. Whew, guys, on their way to me because, you know, I need more. Um, but this is... Sunflower Manor by Hands On Design and Priscilla Blaine of Stitching with the Housewives. So this is what it will look like when it's done. And let's see. I made some pretty good progress. I haven't showed this in a while, but last time I think I showed it, I had just finished like this side. So this week I stitched all of the white on this side. Can't see if it, am I am I centered? I don't know what's doing on here, but I am stitching this on 14 count chalkboard Ada with almost all of the call for colors. I did substitute out the orange for the pumpkins and the yellow for the sunflowers because they didn't have the right ones in stock when I ordered this, but that's okay. I like the way it's looking. It's coming out beautifully. Um, now let me know if you guys want me to, on the blog, do blog posts about the cross stitch, um, so I can, like, kind of, like, tell you guys what, um, color changes I made, if I made any, and things like that. Um, just let me know how, what you guys think, if that's what, like, would something, be something you guys would want. Um, so the last thing that I worked on is this Little Mermaid by The Little Stitcher. If you guys know anything about me by now, you know The Little Mermaid is my all-time favorite Disney movie, so anything Little Mermaid, I gotta get my hands on. Um, I am stitching this on 32 count Vintage Sahara Belfast. Um, and actually, actually, let me move my needle minder off of this. Oh no, look how these magnets are so strong, what the heck. Um, this is my first time actually doing a complete color conversion, but, um, I finished all of the, like, coppery color in her hair, and I've started the dark red. Um, so yeah, this particular pattern calls for a lot of DMC, um, and I kind of wanted to make it my own, so I converted all of the DMC to different... Um, some, I think it, is it all? No, some of it's classic color works. Some of it is weak style works, I think. Yeah, I think it's just all classic color works and weak style works. But guys, can we just talk about how like perfect this color palette is? I'm very excited about this. Um, so yeah, if you want the color conversions and stuff for that, just let me know and I will, I'll do some, I'll do blog posts if that would be interesting for you guys or if you guys would be interested in that just let me know um and i can work that up see the reason why i ordered some new project bags because currently i have two of my whips i haven't touched this one in a while this is witches of salem i believe by rivaris um they live in this plastic bag and it's driving me insane 
but yeah. So that covers all of the crafty content. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just like chat for a couple minutes. Um, is anyone participating in summer sock camp from, you know, crazy sock lady? I am thinking about, I know I said to myself that I wouldn't cast anything new on until I finished at least like one of the socks that I have going, but I'm like dying to like join in on summer sock camp. So I think what I'm going to do a couple episodes ago, I showed you guys the Legend of Zelda yarn that I got from Wallflower Gal Fibers and Keith has been asking for socks. So I think I might cake that up today and get that ready for cast on for tomorrow for summer sock camp. I think that would be fun. Um, what else? I feel like I had like more to talk about. Um, oh, what else? Um, do I have any acquisitions? I do. Back behind me. You see the red back there? Um, Bruce picked out his next sweater. So he wants another um, Hogwarts and Mini History by Megan Reagan. Uh, or Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits. I've knit him that twice before. Once with a yarn and my gauge was way off and it was way too small. I couldn't get it over his head. And then I knit it again out of worsted weight yarn, but it, the neck was way too big. It was, I don't know. So this time I have found it's like a little bit, I feel like it's like slightly thicker, like a thicker DK because it's not thick enough, I think, to be a worsted even though it claims it's a worsted, but it doesn't feel as thick as a worsted. So I think I'm gonna try to use that yarn with the like needles recommended in the pattern and see how that goes. I'm also going to be knitting it a size bigger for him in hopes that it'll fit over his head and then he'll be able to have it longer. Um, but yeah, Bruce picked out colors for that. He wanted Gryffindor colors, so we got, um, we went with like a red and gold because I couldn't find a maroon that I liked. So we picked that out when we went to Michael's the other day. Um, and let's see what else, what, what's what gone on this past week? Um, nothing too crazy. We went to my mother-in-law's yesterday for a Memorial Day barbecue, which was fun. The kids got to play with their cousins. Um, Bruce and I went to Michael's, well, Bruce, Paul and I, all three of us didn't leave Paul at all. Um, all went to Michael's Friday after he got out of school. Um, because it's going to be like rainy and crappy and he has off for the next couple days. So um, I wanted to get some like stuff for him to do so he's not sitting watching TV the whole time. So we got um, this really cool like Crayola Outer Space Kit, which he did with Keith last night or two days ago. Maybe it was last night. Anyway, um, we got him another roll of paper for his easel, some giant coloring pages, and then he picked out a rainbow loom which he's been having a lot of fun with. I mean, I have to help him do like the actual like making of the bracelet, but he has fun picking out the colors and stuff. And then we picked out the yarn for his sweater, which I should cast on soon. So it's ready for colder weather when it comes because I take forever to knit sweaters. There has been no progress on Keith's or my Leica cloud. So yeah, I guess I just don't have the brain power for sweaters right now, but maybe his sweater I might have the brain power for because it's smaller, you know? Um, let's see. Since it's Memorial Day, Bruce obviously had off today. So we went to Walmart this morning. I had to get some clothes for the kids and stuff like that. And then I went to the grocery store and now that's it. We're home for the day, which is great. Um, I do plan on knitting. So, um, yeah my battery light is blinking at me. So anyway, I guess that's where I'll leave it off. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. It spreads me around to the YouTube land. If you like this video so, or like hanging out with me, subscribe so you can watch videos anytime I upload them. And if you want to know exactly when I upload a video, don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified. And I will see you guys next week. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.